Hello everyone, just a real quick uh, video uh, to demonstrate uh, a load sharing network uh, that will allow you to share two power supplies uh, together running in parallel. I learned this from a gentleman uh, on YouTube called uh, RF Man and I will put his link to his video uh, where I got this information from. So I want to thank RF Man for uh, uh, for putting that video out because I've been struggling to figure out a way to, to, to load share with these uh, two uh, power supplies here and uh, I haven't really been able to come up with a good solution at a workable one but uh, it just wasn't nowhere near as good as this one. Um, the other alternative is to figure out how these two power supplies share the load when connected to a server but I haven't been able to figure that out yet. So I've got to settle for this network here. So what I've got is two power supplies, as I mentioned. Uh, these two power supplies are uh, run through a series of resistors. I'll take this out for, to show you kind of what this looks like. So i got five resistors here, five resistors here. These resistors are rated at 0.05 ohms, 50 watts. They're running parallel, so on the other end you have point 0, 0.01 ohms, 250 watts, because we're running parallel. This is a positive lead running all on this side, running through the resistors, coming out on this side, running parallel, 0, 0.01 ohms, 250 watts. Same thing on this side. So both of them are kind of isolated from one another because of the resistance. All right, so I went with using RF Man's calculations. I went uh, a little bit overkill, but uh, he helped me out, figuring out what I needed. Uh, because I'm I'm putting a a uh, large load on these on this system, I needed to be able to dissipate the heat, so I went with this. So I really only needed like 150 watts, but I went with 250 um, to allow me to have a little more of headroom. Um, and anyway, so let me go ahead and put this positive lead back in here. Okay, so I'm going to show you the volts on this side. We have. Uh, 14.1, 14.2, all right? Um, the load kind of bounces back between one and the other, like a, a half a, half an amp. I guess it's just, uh, you know, the network uh, allowing these amplifiers to kind of isolate one another. I guess that's what that means. Anyway, so on the other side, I got 14.15, 14.14 volts. So this voltmeter is on this side of the network. On this side of the network, you see what you see here. So not much of a voltage drop because we're not applying a load or a very small load. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply a load. Oh, let me just let you know real quick what amplifiers we got here. So these are Delta Electronics DPST 6000 CB. Um, they're, they have dual inputs. Each one of these has a dual input. So you see here we got one here, one here, one here, one here. So this is one... Um, 20 amp breaker, and this is a different, another different uh, 110 20 amp breaker. Okay, so that's four plugs. Anyway, we've got uh, at 110 for a single plug in one power supply, we get 70 amps. If I plug in two, I got two here, so I'm getting uh, 141 out of one. Okay, and then if I go um, this power supply also has a 50 volt output, so single, 110 volts, single, single 110 going in, I get 18.44 amps, with two 110 volt uh, AC volts going in, I get 37 amps, pretty good, for just one, okay, so the cool thing is that if I go with a single 220 volt, I get 48 amps at 50 volts for one, if I go with two one, uh, 220s, two 220 AC coming in, 96 amps. So this will definitely run RF Man's, uh, any one of RF Man's 50 volt LDMOS amplifiers. I have not used one of his amplifiers yet, but uh, I do plan to do that and uh, see how it works. Anyway, so let's get on with the test here. So uh, right now, temperature, on this side of the on this side of the net on the, the network right here 77.4 77.5 77.6 77.7 77.8 77.9 77.10 77.11 77.12 77.13 77.14 77.15 77.16 77.17 77.18 77.19 77.20 77.21 77.22 77.23 77.24 77.25
77.4, so they're about the same, 77 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and apply a load. I'm watching the amp meters here. Oh, I got to turn it on. <laughs> Apologize for the fan noise. Here we go. So there's a load. You can see that the, the um, amplifier amp ratings on both meters are roughly the same. And then when I apply an audio, it should uh, apply more of a load. Oh, yeah. And you can see it, they both pretty much jumped up to 55, 56, 54. You know, they're pretty equal. I mean, that's, you can't get any better than that. Let me do it one more time for you. I'm going to do a dead key and then an audio. I'm going to hold the audio as long as I can so that y'all can see the uh, amp meters. Oh, yeah. so you can see they're pretty much right, right dead on, 60, 58 on that, on, that, uh, on that key. So the voltage rating, let's look at the volts. Oh, no change of voltage. Okay, I'm going to look at the volts on this side. All right, this is, again, this is on the far, far edge. This is what the load is getting. This is what the power supply is providing but when you go through the network, because of the voltage drop, you're going to have a little bit of heat di dissipated, and you're going to have a different volt. So here you go. I'm going to do a dead key, and then an audio again. So we're at the same, we're at the same volts right now, 14.14. Oh, yeah. So we dropped about a half a volt, maybe 0.6 volts, maybe 0.7, somewhere there. So it didn't drop more than a volt, I can tell you that much. Let's try it one more time. We're at 14.2, 14.1 over here. I'm, I, I wish I had a, a fourth digit, but I don't. But anyway, there's a dead key. 13.8. Oh, yeah. It dropped down to 13.5, 13.49. So 5, 6.4 volts. Okay, so let's look at the heat now. Eighty-two, eighty-three. They're not even. I mean, I can't even really feel anything. So, but hey, if I'm talking now, this is an amplifier. You know, if I'm talking on this thing for a little while, it'll get a little warm. But I've got a plan for that. I'm gonna eventually drill these in to a heat sink. So I've got uh, this bad boy right here. Yeah, I'll just put that on there for now. <laughs> That'll take care of business right there. All right, well, hey, there you go. Um, again, this is to demonstrate RF Man's load sharing network. I've done what he's uh, what he's uh, he has explained on his YouTube video, and it works. It works really good. So thank you, RF Man, for that. And uh, here again, here's a quick information on this power supply, these two power supplies that I have. So if you want to go out and get a couple, contact me. I can show you how to hook them up. I've got a pretty cool contraption that I made on the back of here. You can see that using solid copper strips here. I took some copper tubing, copper pipe, cut it down the middle, split it, hammered it out, put a torch on it, and uh, got it nice and cleaned up. So I'm able to draw those amps through this uh, these connectors here um, anyway okay that's all I got you guys take care of 73s